Headlines today has accessed exclusive uh, details of the complaint filed by Nusli Wadia. In his complaint, Wadia claims that he received the first extortion call on the 16th of June. The caller identified himself as underworld Don Ravi Pujari and said that he was calling from Australia. He claimed that the caller asked him not to meddle in the Preeti Zinta case. Let's get in a word uh, from our correspondent Rasesh Mandani who's joining us live uh, from Mumbai. Rasesh, has the police been able to track down that call and identify uh, the caller? And, and call made from underworld dawn Ravi Pujari. That is the allegation that has been made by uh, Nasli Vadia. That uh, the sequence of event goes that there was a call initially made to, to the Vadia's office uh, on their landline to one of the secretaries, uh, which was a threatening call. They tried to get across to Nasli Vadia, they couldn't. Then there was another call that was made to another secretary of the Vadia's, uh, which was threatening in nature and, and asked to not to meddle into the Preeti Zenta case. There was subsequently an SMS sent to the very same secretary who had received the call where said don't do mischief with the lady. Uh, now the police, the anti-extortion cell of the crime branch is investigating the whole case and, 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 and looking after it. But uh, what we've also been able to gather is that this, they've been able to identify that that call was, uh, was indeed from Australia. And as we understand, they, the complaint is that, uh, that allegedly it was a call made, the caller had identified himself as underworld Don Ravi Pujari and he said that he was calling from Australia and, and, and asked them to stay away from the case. So the, as we understand, the anti-extortion cell is investigating the case but uh, the whole underworld twist now to the rather infamous Preeti Zinta and Aswadi affair. Absolutely. Let's stay on with us. It's also getting a word from our Mumbai Bureau Chief uh, Sahil Joshi who is joining us live uh, from this city. All right. We also have Rohit Kilnani, our entertainment uh, editor with us uh, on the phone line. Rohit, uh, any reaction uh, from Preeti Zinta's uh, friends and family? No reaction from Preeti Zinta's family and no reaction from Ness uh, 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 family either. I'm right outside this house. You know, going by all the threats, I'll just show you what's happening here. Absolutely nothing. Going by the reports that there were threat, there were threat calls from Australia and uh, last night and there were various calls and even an SMS. There's absolutely no security presence here. There's no, there's no police security. Absolutely nothing happening here. But what's... Uh, of course this has taken a completely different turn almost at a time when everyone thought this is going to die down and there's going to be an out of court settlement this has taken a different turn what Preeti Zinta obviously will have to do is that at least Preeti Zinta or her lawyers will have to come ahead and say and completely disassociate themselves from this un this uh, underworld threat if at all uh, y yes that's exactly what we have been hearing that you know the, he, that he addressed himself as Ravi Pujari the call was from Australia but still, you know, the, the, the matter is with the Mumbai crime branch and they will investigate and once things come out officially from the crime branch, we'll be able to throw more light on that. Right. And uh, Rohit, any reactions uh, coming in from the industry? Uh, yes, today, in fact, after many days, we did manage to get some reactions from uh, the movie industry. So far, nobody, not even the topmost stars, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan. Salman Khan, as we know, you know, when uh, the media asked him, he, he, he completely went on a different tangent, publicizing his movie, dancing away to... So, you know, absolutely no no uh, reaction. But today, we did hear uh, Rajkumar Santoshi, we did hear Suha Ali Khan, uh, not completely supporting, but of course, showing concern, and that itself is a big thing. Mahesh, but we know, he had tweeted about it and has not responded on camera yet. So going by, you know, of course, we know Preeti Sinta was one of the topmost actresses for a, for more than a decade. Uh, everyone and including, I'm sure Preeti Sinta expected more support from Bollywood. Right. And Rohit, you know, over the years, we've heard several stories about connections uh, between the underworld and uh, Bollywood stars. This is something that will add more fuel to the fire. Absolutely, this is not the first time, and uh, you know, just when uh, we, just when everyone thought that this case is completely uh, a personal uh, f uh, fight between two ex-lovers, this there's this sudden un underworld involvement in it, and of course, this again gets back the the underworld and Bollywood angle. People will, of course, draw lines and you know, uh, draw parallels between uh, underworld con underworld and Bollywood connections. Right, uh, Rohit, stay on with us. It's also getting a word from Rasesh, who's joining us uh, live uh, from Mumbai. Rasesh, uh, P.T. Zinta had a letter. The IPL CEO was present inside the Wanke Stadium, uh, Wanke Stadium when this spat took place. Uh, has the police been able to record a statement? Well, the police uh, has contacted the IPL CEO. That's what sources within the police tell us. Uh, I, I believe the statement is yet to be recorded. Uh, but whatever communication they've had with the CEO, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's agreed to the fact that P.T. Zinta did uh, 
give a verbal communication to 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 Sundar Raman, who happens to be the IPL CEO, about about the incident. Uh, but but uh, interestingly, uh, Sundar Raman hasn't necess has said that he wasn't necessarily in that stand, so he would not know much beyond the fact that there was a communication made by Preeti to him. Also, there's been a confirmation which has come in from the IPL chairman uh, Ranjit Biswal, who said that uh, Preeti did make a, ver a verbal communication to him about the incident. Uh, the police in is in the course of uh, gathering as much evidence as they can, speaking to as many witnesses as they can. The couple of witnesses that uh, that Preeti Zinta has put forward from her side, reportedly happening to be a businessman who were present at the stand at that point in time. So the P the police is looking to be able to to get to speak to a range of people who would have possibly been there at the stand. I also believe police has asked for a list of the guests of Kings Eleven Punjab franchise who were present in the stand, which is provided to them, and they're, they're looking to identify people there as well. The so police are carrying out their investigation in full force. But interestingly, you know, there's still no sign of Preeti Zinta. The police always also communicated to Preeti Zinta to come forward at the earliest to record a statement. She is still away uh, in New York, I believe, and uh, you know, the police still away. Waiting Preeti Zinta to come forward so that they can take the case forward, record a statement and then look if there is necessary action to be taken against Neswari or not. Absolutely. The police are in fact uh, given a deadline to Preeti Zinta for uh, re-recording her statement. Uh, Rohit Kilani and uh, Rasish Panadi, thanks so much for bringing us the latest on this story.